I'm Potsy, the uh, drummer for the Australian Motley Crew Show. Uh, I got into drumming when I was a kid, uh, watching video clips uh, in my bedroom, and I just sort of, when they had the live footage um, edited into the video clips, I just sort of saw what they did, and it just clicked, and I sort of understood what they were doing. So I started practicing myself, and I ended up, I uh, had a friend that went to China, and when he came back, he brought me back a pair of chopsticks, and I just practiced in my bedroom. Uh, well, I actually went to a Blue Light Disco, uh, and I saw, uh, they had a video screen and one of them was Girls, Girls, Girls. And I just saw it and it just blew me away and just heard the, the guitar riff and I just thought it was killer. And I ended up getting the, uh, the record for Christmas, uh, Girls, 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 and I absolutely flopped the guts out of it. I was working away, got a call from uh, my best friend who's uh, Nicky Six in the band, and he, they, he'd asked me how long I'd plan on doing that, that stuff for, and I said, look man, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to wrap it up soon. He goes, good, because uh, Justin, who is Vince, um, and myself, we're going to put together a Motley Crew band. We'd love you to, to, to play. So yeah, I ended up uh, not didn't finish for that reason, but I, I quickly worked over there and came back to Adelaide, and um, we started rehearsing straight away. And, oh, Tommy Lee, yeah, he's um, yeah, he was yeah, he's probably one of my heroes growing up because I don't know, he's just he just seemed do shit uh, in the cages. The, the way that he plays, just sort of uh, it just. Me. He's probably my favourite drummer of all time. Most, most people, a lot of people will tell you different, but I, I just think his flamboyant style and the way he plays and just his personality too. I think he's not quite the lunatic everyone sort of uh, is led to believe. He's quite a, he'd be quite a nice fellow. Uh, and I, I, I can leave him to be honest. The, the music that you listen to tends to be uh, bookmarked certain times in your life. You'll hear a song um, and you'll just remember where you were when you heard that song or what it means to you. Hearing certain songs, i.e. Girls, 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 will be like Disco and, and it blows your mind. Certain songs will take you back. They'll remind you of certain situations. So music to me uh, really is a bookmark to times in my life. That's why I can't go without it. The best part, I think, of actually playing live in any band is just seeing it, being up there playing and seeing the faces of people in the crowd actually enjoying what you're doing. I just enjoy it, and if I could do it for free, I would. And you can see that there's that many Motley Crue fans out there, and you have your little rock star moments where they come there and doing like, you were better than Rocky Crue themselves, you know, and all that, which is quite nice to take away. I went up there racking up lines of coke and heroin and shit like that. It's uh. It's, it's really, really cool. I enjoy it. I really love it. really love it. We were kind of talking about an Australian tour with some other bands as well, but that sort of all fell short because of the coronavirus. It's just made everything hard for everybody. We cancelled a lot of gigs. Um, but yeah, it has it, it's ruined a lot. But the other thing too is it's changed my, my work and so I've gone on to afternoon shift, which makes it hard for us guys to rehearse. Coming up soon, we'll probably start really rehearsing. Um, but yeah, it's, it screws good and proper, I think. Yeah, I'd really like to, um, i really like to see it take us uh, overseas, would be good, or on a cruise. So there's a couple of rock and roll metal uh, cruises that we've sort of thrown our hat in the ring and said we're available to do these sorts of things. But I'd like to see that actually happen. The good, the good thing about um, the Australian Motley Crew Show is it's actually allowed us to travel. Whereas normally we've been playing around Adelaide, we've actually been up and down the eastern states the last few years and it's been great and it's virtually it's a working holiday. We don't make a great deal of money but we make it a money to go over there and enjoy ourselves, we take a family with us and we have we have a good time. Um, so it is actually got kind of a big big family in the same right. But yeah I'd like to see us uh, I'd like to go to Crew Fest in Los Angeles they do that once a year or once every couple of years. And I think an Australian Motley Crew show would be would be a bit of a uh, be a good a good time.